The UW system will continue COVID-19 rapid surge testing at its campuses across the state until Easter. Surge testing had been scheduled to end by today, but the federal government is providing an additional 160,000 tests to the system. Some campuses also are setting up community vaccination clinics, and we're talking now about all of this with UW system president Tommy Thompson. We really appreciate when you can come on the show, and I want to ask you about something that's making really big news right now, that Republicans are really working to overturn the governor mask mandate. Do you want to keep the statewide mask mandate? That's not for me to determine. I am put on my public health hat, which I was Secretary of Health and Human Services, and we put a mandated mask policy in for the University of Wisconsin. I'm president of the university. I run that. I've let the governor and the legislators run the state. But for the university, we need a mask, and the students have responded tremendously. The cultural responsibility for the students of putting on their masks, wearing them, socially distance, and the testings have kept our campuses the healthiest and the safest place to be during this epidemic. I want to ask you about the latest with the vaccine, because I understand that right now you're following, of course, state guidelines to vaccinate people who are eligible in your campus community. But what's the timeline, do you think, when UW could start vaccinating a wider group of people who aren't affiliated with the university? We are we're willing and, and waiting for it. We're waiting for the vaccine. And the state's waiting for it. I'm not criticizing anybody. I know in a big rollout like this, there's going to be some administrative problems. But the truth of the matter is we're waiting for the vaccine. I've got 26 campuses. I've got student nurses. I've got nursing deeds. I've got pharmaceutical students all ready to start vaccinating if we can get the vaccine. We've got big rooms on our campuses. We've got good accessibility, good parking. Give us the opportunity Give us the vaccine and we'll show you how fast we can do it. And I know you told me that a few weeks ago and now you're working with the governor to try to really make that partnership happen. Have you talked with anyone from the Biden administration in terms of when you might be able to get that vaccine or when it could be more available? I made I made the calls. They have not responded. So uh, hopefully they will and hopefully they will be able to give the state. It goes through the state. It doesn't come to us at the university. And I understand that you just got your first dose of the vaccine. So how are you feeling? I feel great. And I would strongly encourage everybody to take the vaccine. It's safe. I used to be Secretary of Health and Human Services. I was in charge of FDA. I know how careful and how scientifically they are involved in the making sure that the vaccine and the medicines are safe and efficacious. And when it comes to campus reopening, some of your campuses went back to class last Monday. Some are going back Monday right. as students and, and teachers returned. How concerned are you about this COVID variant, considering we're hearing that it's more contagious and that the vaccine might not be as effective against it? Plus, even if you've already had coronavirus, that might not protect you. I'm, I'm very concerned about it. Everybody should be. Viruses don't remain static. They always are evolving. And this virus is no different than other viruses. It's evolving. That's why it's important to get the vaccine out there before it gets, his, gets a gets a groundswell before it starts getting more people infected. That's what testing is all about. That's what vaccines are all about. Let's get this. Let's beat. We're Wisconsinites. Let's beat this this absolute terrible virus smash COVID as as you've seen me in some of my commercials smash COVID. All right, Tommy Thompson. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. You can see my entire interview on our website where Tommy Thompson telling me more about what he wants in his upcoming UW budget request. That's on the upfront section of WISN.com. Two reporters looked into thousands of allegations of Wisconsin voter fraud. I'll tell you what they found. That's next.